Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if I'm speaking quieter. Um, my name is just sleeping, but this is going to be a different type of a video. I went to the grocery store and I got a bunch of different types of seeds and stuff like that. Because I wanted to make my own seed mix. Now, this recipe is not one that I created. I got this from the Hamster Hideout Forum by a hamster owner and researcher and it seemed legit and so I decided to recreate it um so I'm gonna be using a tablespoon just so that everything can be measured evenly yeah this is a tablespoon and I have this little bowl here that I'm gonna make everything in so first things let's start off with um what was it grains grains is the main thing in here and I have my oats here I mean my grains here I got three different types of grains since that needs to be 30% of it um and the first one that I have is by the way this had like 30% like the percentage of what you needed and what you needed of and then it just had I don't know how to explain this. And then it, then it just had like a list of those type of things. So for 30% grains, you I'm going to use three different types of grains. First off is rolled oats. And I'm just going to, if I can open this. By the way, this is not going to be the whole of what I feed my hamsters, obviously. This is a little add-in thing with their commercial brand. So I'm going to be adding... Since it's 30%, there's going to be about 10 tablespoons of food added in this completely. One for each 10%. Um, about. Yeah. So, first off is one tablespoon of quick rolled oats with no flavoring. And that's a part of the grains. And then what's also a part of the grains is um, these whole wheat elbows, macaroni elbows, it, didn't, it said wheat on the list, and I don't have just plain wheat, and I thought this would work, because, yeah, and they'll be getting wheat from their food mix anyway, so, I'll be adding one tablespoon of that, and then, the last of the 30% of grains that they need in their diet is, Buckwheat. And plain buckwheat. And I'll also be adding four tablespoons of this. So that is the grain section. And then let's move on to the seed section. The seed section is also 30%. And I got three different seeds for that. First one is golden flax seeds. I couldn't find the black one which is what normal people use, normally, but the majority of people use. So I'm just using golden flax seeds. And I'm also going to be using one tablespoon of this. This is, by the way, a recipe for Russian dwarf hamsters, which I have mainly dwarfs, so I think this recipe will be good. And then, um, for also in the seed section, I just have some sunflower seeds, no flavor without, just raw, and without their covering, because I give them a couple of the covered ones every, because there's some of that in their food, and that way they can have fun opening it, but for now, this is what I have, so I'm going to add one tablespoon of this, and then the last of the seed section is sesame seeds. By the way, all of these, you don't want to get any flavored or anything like that. And I didn't mean to, but I grabbed a lot of sesame seeds. That's okay. By the way, all of this I got from Smith's in the bulk section. You can probably find it in any organic store or something like that. And you could adjust this to whatever. So we have one tablespoon of sesame seeds. And then the 20% is protein. And I just got um, red lentils for some of the protein in this. 
So here is two, but they're kind of pretty. So I'm just going to do one tablespoon of that. It looks like this. All of this I will be keeping off to the side for when I run out. And um, if you do this, I recommend putting like, well, basically I just go to the bulk section, fill up this bag, type in the number that it is, and then I then I print out a little sticker here telling me how much it costs and weighs and stuff. And then I just wrote, wrote that right on there. And then the other source of protein, by the way, like I said a hundred times, this is not their main mix. It's just green lentils. So I'm just going to add one, ta one tablespoon of green lentils. Now you may be wondering, where's the other 30%? The other 30% was for dried fruits and vegetables, and since this isn't my main mix, I don't have to worry about that because I have dried, sorry, I have dried fruits and vegetables in my other little mixes that I add to their things. So this is just what I call just an add-in that I'm going to be personally adding. So this is pumpkin seeds, just some plain unflavored pumpkin seeds. And I'm going to be adding half a tablespoon of this, roughly. I mean, I'm not going to really be measuring. I'm just going to add about half a tablespoon. And then the other one, since they can have dried rice, I went with um, just some dried wild rice, because there's a lot of variety in here, and it's really good for them. And so I'm also going to be adding half a tablespoon of this. tablespoons in here. And I'm just going to mix this up now. So this is my little seed mix. As you can see there is a huge variety in here. And I will be adding this in addition to the commercial food that they get. I will be doing an updated when I feed my hamsters video pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Sorry, I have a camera really clear, but hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, this is something a recipe that I found on um, Hamster Hideout Forum. And it varies hamster to hamster. You don't have to follow this exact one. You can follow what you want and what you think your hamster need and needs and what they actually do need. Anyway, bye!